Hi, it's Dr. Jack here. I've uh, got some updates for you. Uh, the most prominent being a budget update, which I'll get to in just a minute. Um, the budget was approved Monday night by the school board. I want to talk to you about that. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I wanted to share a couple of announcements. One is, um, may seem like a little thing, but it's a big thing to me. It's the service awards. So obviously we're, we weren't able to do service awards this spring, but I'd like to circle back and, and uh, do the service awards in the fall. So um, we'll be coordinating that with your principals. It's something that's important to me. Hopefully, I hope it's important to you. Um, so we'll be coming back and doing that again in the fall. So stay tuned for that. Uh, the other announcement has to do with preparation for fall. Uh, so um, basically where we are is we, we don't know, obviously, whether we're going to open on time uh, in the fall. We don't know exactly what the governor is going to, going to decide or determine. But it, what, what the state superintendent has told us is be prepared for, from anything starting with opening on time to having um, a, a similar model to what we're doing now through the first semester. So providing virtual instruction throughout first semester and then everything in between. So we're, we're coming up with different scenarios and what these different models would look like, including uh, what would happen if midterm there's a, another another outbreak and we had to close. We, we want to be able to, within like 24 hours, uh, be providing uh, continuity of instruction to students. So we're preparing for all these different scenarios and um, so that may, be, may require some flexibility on your part, but you're going to probably be seeing more of this uh, of this information as the summer, spring and summer wear on. Um, because we're, we're still kind of flying, bl flying blind through this, but um, we're preparing as best we can for the different scenarios. Um, and just thank you so much for all that you, all that you've done. Um, I, I've just I've been truly amazed at the work being done by our teachers, um, administrators, custodians, food and food service workers, the the, uh, the folks delivering meals, delivering devices. Um, and then, of course, teachers who are delivering instruction, so appreciative. Uh, and the feedback I've received has is, is just been outstanding, and what I've seen has been outstanding. And I thank you all so much, because the fact of the matter is whatever we plan for and prepare for and set and put into place, it's really, it's really meaningless uh, if, we didn't, if we don't have great teachers, great administrators, Great, great classified staff to promote and make these things happen, and they are happening, and I, I'm very appreciative of that. Um, as far as the budget, so as I mentioned, the school board approved the budget on uh, this past uh, Monday, May 11th. It looks a lot different than the budget I presented on February 10th. Um, so, and that's of course due to the pandemic. Um, during uncertain times like this, and there's a lot of uncertainty, you, you can rest assured that we value each and every one of you. We value the work that you're doing. Um, we value the fact that um, you're playing such an, a vital role in the well-being of our kids and, our, and, and families right now, and I'm very appreciative of that. Um, so when you, I'm gonna, I'll highlight some things in the budget that are, again, designed to um, are in there because we love our people and we want to provide for our people. Um, my proposed budget on uh, February 10th included a lot of big ticket items, uh, a 3% raise for teachers, a market adjustment for uh, a whole, just about every other category of employee in, in an effort to get them to within 90 to 100 percent of market. So there was there was, it was a very uh, aggressive budget, I'd say, in terms of continuing what we started last year with increases. Uh, in 2018, as you recall, we we commit we were committed or made a commitment to getting every employee to within 100% of the market, and um, the school board reaffirmed that at their retreat in November. And then, of course, right in the midst of this, we we have a global pan, global pandemic. 
and and everything is and the brakes were the brakes were put on basically. Uh, but that doesn't change our resolve. Our our goal still is to ultimately get everyone to 100% um, of market. Um, but with things as they are now, of course, that's that's we're, we got, we're gonna have to put the brakes on. Um, what the board adopted, and and I think Miss Pauling, our new school board member from Center District, she said it best. It it's it's with a uh, it's with a heavy heart that uh, the board the budget was approved without a compensation increase or market adjustment for any employee, uh, and that of course is relative to the local economy, the state economy. Um, what happens locally is we were we were flat funded, um, and then at the state level um, there was a reduction of I think it was seven or eight hundred thousand dollars on our on our state funding, which and that piece could have been a lot worse. That that could have been, if our local composite index had not gone down, we would have been in a very very difficult spot. Fortunately, um, it did go down and um, we received quite a bit more state money which really saved our bacon in terms of just paying for the things that we have to pay for uh, the the um, the goal then for the new my, the new budget proposal from Monday was to you know make sure we're saving jobs uh, there's no layoffs rifts furloughs any of that stuff in there um, Lots of decisions were made in terms of spending that were designed to help families. Uh, you'll you'll see if you look through the budget um, that was approved, we're getting rid of the consumable fees at all of our schools. We're making uh, both free and reduced lunch um, lunches free for all kids. So whether you're free or reduced, uh, it's it's completely free. So there is no more reduced. Um, operationalizing intervention funds for elementary kids um, we're hiring social workers uh, providing a, um, uh, additional professional development for teachers uh, we are adding several new positions and all of these are uh, in our views uh, absolutely essential we'll include two additional social workers we're badly under undermanned in our social worker department uh, two uh, additional K through three, uh, K through third grade teachers. That's a class. Those are class size reduction teachers. So you have to spend money to get money and in order to keep the class sizes down. You make that commitment. The state, the state gives you more funding. Um, one a new iSTEM teacher, a new uh, autism teacher, uh, one agricultural science teacher, a behavioral specialist, which is badly needed. Um, we also have, uh, let's see, I want to make sure I don't miss anything of major importance. Um, oh, uh, benefits. So um, there is no health insurance benefit to employees. Um, we were able to cover that. So you, you won't see any, any increase. We brought back the uh, dual, spouse, dual spouse health insurance discount which simply means that if you and your spouse uh, both work for Fauquier County Public Schools, you're you, you, you are, you are going to receive a reduction in uh, your premiums, health insurance premiums. But um, otherwise, there, are, there is no increase to health insurance. Um, what the state has said, what the governor has said, is there'll be a um, sort of a review of the revenue, state revenue situation in late fall or early winter uh, so they'll be looking at things relative to like um, tax uh, receipts uh, lottery funds etc so there may be another adjustment it's possible that there's another adjustment either to the good or to the bad mid uh, year um, coming up so you know November December is probably more accurate um, in light of that, some of these positions that we have budgeted for, we're going to put the hold on and, and probably not hire until we know what the state budget situation is going to be. 
any carryover funding, any carryover funds that we receive uh, in going into next fiscal year. Uh, they're going to be lockbox. They're going to go into a, a, an emergency asset fund. Um, so what we typically with carryover funds, we whatever we don't spend in one fiscal year carries to the next, and we're able to use it for other things. But this coming year will be different. Those carryover funds will be all of them, uh, except for what we have to pay for um, CSA funds uh, overages, um, which usually is four or five. I'm giving you too many details, which is usually about four or five hundred thousand dollars. These are for students who are outplaced. Um, the the other the, beyond that, any other remaining funds are going to go into an emergency asset fund. Um, so. That's kind of the long and short of it relative to the, uh, to the budget. Uh, next week, we're going to be graduating nearly 1,000 students from our high schools. Um, again, I feel badly for the seniors. This is, I mean, I, I am greatly appreciative of what the high school administration administrators are doing uh, to recognize graduates. Um, you know, it's really going above and beyond. Those those high school principals, admins will be standing out on a football field uh, five days in a row, almost all day for the five days, recognizing uh, folks individually uh, for, the, for the class of uh, 2020. Not not ideal, but very labor intensive. So greatly appreciate the work of those those administrators and their staffs to make that happen. Um, but uh, Feel badly for the seniors, but um, you know I, I, I do appreciate what the high schools are doing in order to recognize each and every senior. Finally, I just want you to know it's it's really an honor to serve as your superintendent. Truly, um, if you have any questions related to any of this, um, feel free to reach out to me directly. It's no problem. You can email, call, whatever you'd like to do, and uh, and that's it. So thank you, and again, if you have questions, just uh, Feel free to email. Thanks.